name is Evie. Hi, my name is Chris, and, and welcome, welcome to AM Central. Central. My name is Dr. Lisa Rapp, and I'm chair of the biotechnology program at STCC. Both in the state and in the country, biotechnology is a steadily growing field. Biotechnology is using living things to produce products that help people. It's using yeast to produce insulin that we can use to treat diabetes. Using algae to produce biofuels that reduce our use of fossil fuels. You can take your interests and translate into that to a job where you're helping people. Biotechnology helps make the world a better place. Hi, my name is Julie, and this is the story of how my talent came to be. So, um, Julie is good at literally everything she does. She's a really good um, sprinter, runner, whatever the heck it is. Hey, hi, I'm Nati. Um, I've known Julie since she was nine years old because she's my stepsister and we've always lived together. But ever since I've known Julie, she has been very artistic. I got a drawing and like shading and making things look really realistic. Um, when Julie started showing me her first drawing, I thought it was like really good. Like I was actually really impressed by her. I was like, wow, that's really good. What got me motivated to draw was my mom. She would always draw on her free time. And then like one day I wanted to try it out. And so ever since I started from that day, I felt like my drawings were slowly improving. She had given to me or that I had taken was this drawing, the lions. This was, like more like this the lions was something that she used to do like that she started to do like a lot more recently it was something that that was like her thing she with her drawings a lot over the past couple of years and she's always drawing um random stuff for people she actually i do poetry and so she actually drew something for one of my poems i have it right here yes i have it in my life because it's messy um and this is my hand and if you like look closely i'm sure she'll have a picture of it but there's scars on the wrist and that's because i used to cut myself so basically she portrayed what i was talking about the, in the in the poem which was about you know how i struggled with that for a long time when i was younger i was never really into like drawing or painting i was mostly inside playing video games or like watching movies and stuff with my grandpa and she even taught herself how to play the piano, and that takes a lot of skill and a lot of talent. I don't really know what got me into playing piano. I feel like it was just a random thought that I wanted to try out, and piano wasn't really the only instrument I learned. I also learned the clarinet for like around one year, I guess, and for piano I learned for two years. But for piano, I kind of learned on my own because at that time I was like really like into piano, I guess. And for clarinet, it was an accident. Um, I actually wanted to learn saxophone, but they didn't really have saxophones. And so they gave me a clarinet and so I had to learn from there. What got me into the track? I mean, when I was younger, I used to love playing tag and fish fish across my ocean. And I don't know, I've always had that adrenaline going on where I would just keep running and running non-stop. And I would just like love it. Um, I used to join many clubs to get started off for a track in high school. Uh, one of the things I got started off in was called Girls on the Run, I think. And it's a club that they had in Chestnut where we had to run for 30 minutes non-stop and so I had to because I was the oldest I had to run for 30 minutes non-stop going as like in the same pace as my teacher which <laughs> was very difficult which I had to do every day and knowing me I wasn't really a distance runner I was more of a sprinter so it was killing me in the Life. She's really good at running. She's really fast and she beats everyone, especially me, but I'm really slow. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> School, I, that's when I was happy because I was like, okay, great, I get to start track now. And then my first time running my meet was in ninth grade, of course. And 
and I started running the 55 meters, meters at first. And I got first place twice, twice in a row, yeah, I ran twice that year. And then this year, 10th grade, I'm doing 55 meters and 300 meters, and I'm still going on in first place. It was really the only sport for me that didn't have to deal with, like, teammates and, like, anxiety. All I had to do was worry about one thing is just get the edge. She's very, she's improved a lot, and as the years have gone by, like, she's discovered more talents that we didn't know where they are. So I really think she should pursue something in the arts or, you know, something. She can pretty much do anything because she's good at everything. So yeah. Bye, Julie. Julie. Yeah. Three, two. That's all for now, Central. Have a good day.